In our family, we have uh, <clears throat> lived for over 40 years with a handicapped daughter. We have watched her struggle with life. I don't know how many times I've prayed that God would let me trade places with her. She had a uh, problem called PKU, for which all babies are blood tested these days. They didn't know that much about it when she was born. So she had brain damage in early infancy. And uh, we watched her struggle. We saw her discouragements. One time when she was a teenager, she came to me and uh, told me about how discouraged she was and how that uh, she wondered what the future would hold for her. I wanted to comfort her. I remembered a sermon that I had heard one time and I used a little sanctified imagination. I told her about uh, how that everybody who ever lived or died is going to meet someday. Millions on the inside of a city looking out and millions on the outside looking in. And God is going to need someone on the inside who went through everything that they went through on the outside and still remained true to him. So I had her picture with me, someone from the days of the flood. And on the outside of the city, there is someone who says it wasn't fair. In the days in which I lived, the evil of men's hearts was bad continually. So it wasn't fair. I couldn't be a Christian in the days of the flood. God doesn't argue. He doesn't dialogue with them. He simply says, Noah, please stand up on the wall. Noah stands up on the wall and there's nothing more to say. I pictured coming down to the days of Christ. And uh, people found it hard in the days of the early persecution to live for Christ. There's someone on the outside of the city that says it was too hard for me to be a Christian. Why, I would have been stoned if I had been a Christian. And God says, Stephen, will you please stand up on the wall? And Stephen stands up and there's nothing more to say. I pictured going down through the dark ages when uh, millions of martyrs gave their lives for Christ. And there's someone on the outside of the city that shakes their fist at God and says, it wasn't fair. I would have been burned if I had been a Christian. And God says, Huss and Jerome, please stand up on the wall. And uh, all voices are silenced. I talked about a woman on the outside who died of cancer shaking her fist at God and saying, if this is the way you're going to treat me, forget it. And God has to have someone on the inside who went through the same experience stand up on the wall. And nothing more to say. Someone on the outside who experienced a broken home and uh, the hardship that that created. And someone on the inside who went through the same experience and stay true to God. Then I told her about a teenage girl on the outside who was handicapped and who shakes her fist at God and says, it was too hard for me to be a Christian with my handicap and my discouragement. And right at that point, my daughter said, Dad, I got it. I got it. And she was weeping. She saw the privilege of standing up and being counted among the honor guard who remained true regardless of what happened. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Fear Thank you.
Shall not.